Hello, everybody, and welcome back for the back nine coverage of the final round of the Intermediate Women at the Dynamic Discs Presents 2019 Midwest Amateur Championship. After the front nine, Liz has picked up a further three throws on Amanda Wing to extend her lead to 14. Lupe Harada is two throws out of third, and I've heard rumor that there may be a challenger on the chase card. We'll see after the round is done. Picking up the action here on hold 10, Lupe Harada has the box. Followed by Liz Bort Bowman throwing a standstill backhand on this treacherous 354 foot hole. The play is up the hill and to the left, and if at all possible, avoid catching an edge and rolling down to the right, which is pretty easy to do, really. Amanda Wing plays up the middle, landing on the near side of the slope, and rounding out our lead card is Desiree Poth with a standstill drive up the hill and to the left. just misses from circle two. Lupe from pretty far out. And I apologize, but I don't know what happened, but I did not get everybody tapping in there. Point is, bogey's all around except for Lupe with the double bogey. Those board Bowman moves to the top of the box on hole 11. It is set 309 feet straight up the middle. And as always, the trick is to avoid rolling away. The rain is beginning to taper off, but these tee pads are still quite wet. Nice. All four of our players are safely in the middle of the fairway. There's Liz's upshot. Followed by Lupe just outside circle one. And Amanda can only lay up from that distance. Lupe gives that a good go. She'll have about a 15 foot comebacker. Good shot. Waterworks was recently upgraded with Mach X baskets about a month and a half ago for the Kansas City Wide Open, and the chains are still being broken in. Anything that doesn't hit dead center will probably bounce out, as happened to Lupe there.
for the final round. Hole 12 is set 377 feet straight away and a little bit to the left. And Liz is drive Heiser's out early and heads down the hillside. And Amanda's going to be keeping her company. Oh yeah. Desiree gets a great line with this standstill drive. So what I meant to throw? And that is set right in the middle of the fairway. Ideal position. Yeah, Lupe, stay, stay, stay. Nice, lady. Lupe yeah. on a flex line, catches a little bit of overhanging branch, but still comes down right in the middle and at the top. From down the hill like this, there's almost no way to get to a par. It's just so far up. second gets a little away from her and cruises down the hill pin high to the left and down the hill after two here's Lupe, Lupe! bringing in the bar this rainy day, bars were very rare indeed. I believe there are only two, two pars on the day for the whole card. The other one was back on the front night uh, when Lupe got the other par on hole eight. Amanda Wing, who remains 15 behind Elizabeth Ford Bowman. Taking the box, Lupe is up first. And this is a little bit of an early release and heads right for that tree. She could be clear of the canopy though. Liz plays the flex backhand line. And that fights out to the middle at the base of the hill. Oh, come out. Ooh. That's a late release for oh, yeah. Amanda. We saw across the street. And the fortunate kick out to get the same result. And oh, Desiree no. would stand still. Oh, pure as the gap. That is looking good. Nicely done. and Amanda take their unobstructed up shots from the base of the hill. And here's Desiree's second. Comes up a little short. Should be just outside circle two. A really good go. She'll have an easy tap in there. Good cut. Lupe with the uphill putt to save the bogey. Likewise for Liz. So for Amanda, and there's Desiree. It's a star four. With no 
changes in the overall standings, we'll move on to hole 14. It is set in the longest position, 485 feet, about 10 feet short of the OB Road at the far end of the fairway. Apologies, but I did not catch Amanda or Desiree's drives here. I'm going to blame it on the rain. After her drive, Amanda is to the left side of the fairway. And the low hanging branches cause yet another outburst. I'd be lying if I said I haven't sworn at those branches myself. Oh yeah. Good shot. <laughs> Desiree uses the very large tree as a convenient backstop. That should be a fairly easy tap in. Yeah. Two bogeys and two double bogeys. We'll move on to hole 15. As oh, before, yeah. it is set on the right Look hand the side. Day. Yeah. 286 feet. The rain is ended, but there's a little bit of a breeze on this hole and on the next one. Amanda's low drive stays well to the fair side of the Mando. It goes right up. There you go. Shot leaves a little bit of distance yet to the basket. Is Lupe looking to get up and down after her drive? Oh, get in the basket. And Amanda gives this a pretty good go from her drive. She'll be sat just inside circle one, looking to come back for her par. There's Lupe from circle two. That goes well wide, though it's going to be a big comebacker. Liz goes wide as well, with not so much of a comebacker for her. And again, brand new Mach X baskets, and that skips right off the left side of the chains. It's a little bit 
dicey there, but Amanda gets her par. Only the third par of the round. Moving on to hole 16, Amanda picks up two more throws over Lupe and extends her grip on second place to three throws. Taking the box after that par, okay. Amanda's up first and plays safely to the left side of the fairway. Come back, come back, come back. Liz's drive hangs pretty come far out yes. to the right. Oh, oh, stay, stay, stop, stop, stop. catches stop. an edge. Oh. We'll see. Might be on the line. Let's but at least we know it there. was inbounds in that area. <laughs> yes. Not dying is good. And it is partly inbounds, and that's inbounds. Oh, come back, Nelly. Yes, it's coming. Yes. Nice. Desiree flexes out to the right-hand side of the fairway. That should be a straightforward upshot. Ooh. Nice rip. And Lupe right. rips this oh, one yeah. right oh, up the nice. middle, landing on about, about the only flat oh, yeah, space yeah, yeah. out there. They're trying to save the tree. Save okay. the tree. Save the tree. Save the tree is right, Liz. Without that tree, this hole is meaningless. Oh, I love that. Okay, There's Lupe's blind up shot. Oh, I'm so nervous that I threw away that way. No, you're good. You're good. I'm not out of bounds. Yeah. There you go. With the wind picking up and the rollaway potential, it looks like all of our players are opting to lay up and tap in. I can't say I blame them. tenaciously to second place. So, That's right. okay. par four Those today, the third par four of the layout. This one plays all the way across the road and back uphill to what is sometimes the long basket for hole number 12. That's a good spot though. Yeah. second after that roll away it gave her a good look down to the corner. And after Desiree's drive she's lining up to get over. This needs to flex back. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> what do you think? And it is well, just since none of to it the is bad actually side yeah. of the line. Over the white. Per the rule, the OB line itself is considered part of the out-of-bounds area. So since the disc was in the out-of-bounds area and on the white paint, but no part of it was in-bounds, it is not in-bounds. Liz attempting to get across, that gets a little low and slides on the road deck and has no chance to jump that wall and come safe again. Beautiful. You're across. Lupe is across. So, Amanda playing it safe on the left-hand side. 
and from where she went out of bounds, Liz looks to get across as well. Once again, the camera does not do justice to the steepness of this hill. Gets the better of Amanda there. It is a real tug to get up this hill, especially on a rainy day when you're really tired. Oh yeah, great shot. thing about loopy 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 do is I don't have to censor that. That is completely G-rated. Seven foot par four drew blood today with Amanda's double bogey being the best result. And we move on to the final hole. Well, the marathon weather challenge has come our. High five, Nova. Oh, thank you. Ah. And there goes my umbrella. Oh, ah. thank you, Nova. Oh, yes. You're thank welcome. Nova's awesome. Good times. Nova's high five. That was completely unexpected. We'll go that way today. Amanda has the box first, playing to the left-hand side of the fairway. This is set in the longest position, all the way up the hill at the end of the ravine and to the left. Oh, oh. Stuff from there. Liz gets a late release, but from that higher position on the hillside, she should have a pretty good look to make progress. <laughs> If that tree isn't in the way, Lupe should have a similar look. Come back. You three get and Desiree flexes out to a similar spot. From here, it is just a long, long, long yank up this hill. That gets away from Lupe. And from the left hand side of the fairway, Amanda is also looking to get up and down. And catches a tree. But it kicks well clear for an unobstructed look up the hill. Liz catches some branches and falls well outside circle two. Desiree gives that a very nice half go and sets up just next to the basket, as does Liz. Lupe draws metal, but it does not roll down the hill. Done. 
and then it's only another hundred foot uphill walk to turn in the scorecard. Have I mentioned this is a hilly course? Because this is a very hilly course. After the back nine is complete, Liz Borgmogen picks up three more throws on Amanda Wing to a total of plus 44 for the championship of the Midwest Amateur Championship. Amanda Wing takes second place. Anna Hare on the chase card leaps up with the hot round of the day to take third place at 60 over, followed by Lupe Harada, Becca Kephart, Desiree Pop, and Stephanie Roberts. Getting our first wet trophy. <laughs> Hopefully moist. they're okay being wet, they are metal. We prefer moist. <laughs> Coming back from the chase card, Anna Hare. Woo! Anna also yeah. shooting the hot round of the final oh round. <laughs> I almost didn't even show up today. Like, oh my god, thank you. Right. Hey, good shooting Anna. Good job. Thank you. Good <laughs> You're gonna need oh, even I, the hot I, I, today. I, 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 oh my god, all the emotions! All the emotions! <laughs> Second place, newcomer, at least in my life, <laughs> Amanda Wing! Woo! <laughs> Winning the intermediate women's division by a few strokes. I should start keeping track of uh, how many times a winner person is a winner of the MAC, but she's a multiple winner, at least two, if not three or four. Liz, do you know? Only two. Only two. <laughs> only, two. <laughs> only seven, oh, according yeah. to Becca. But, no. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, a multiple MAC champion, Elizabeth Borg Bowman. Launchpad disc golf, Team DZ Discs, where the disc you see is the disc you get. Um, everyone that I played with, we survived a long, grueling weekend. It was fun. And welcome back to Kansas, Amanda, Yay! Kansas City. I, I played Ultimate with Amanda 20 years ago. Okay? So, um, very cool. And thanks to my husband, MK. He's right there. I don't know where he is. <laughs> Maybe. He brought me a smoothie yesterday, so thanks, anybody. And special thanks to tournament director Scott Reek for having me out to film the intermediate card. I had a terrific time. And thanks to you for watching. Catch you next time.